Self scale, so this is 760 damage. The uh, the Q and ultimate combo from Garst does way more than that. Yeah, the Q the Q and ultimate combo does about 1100, 1200 k dam k damage. Not yeah. So I think the purple team they want to make use of this Baron. They might actually catch out up. Wukong here. Yeah. They're gonna contest the blue buff, looks like they will get it. Ezreal actually picking it up, uh, even though he already had a blue buff. Maybe it should have been donated to Elise or Zed so he had shorter cooldown. But it's still good taking that away from uh, Gragas, since he <laughs> really wants the blue buff. So I actually see Ezreal picking up the, uh, the boost of acidity for cooldown. The hook saw lines onto Elise. Repels away. This is the disengage combo. Mox puts down, she's gonna go down anyway. She will. Team Leona trying their best. Talisman Ascension pops from both teams. Oh, very nice tornado. That was beautiful. Um, oh, beautiful. Still actually, some really engagement going on onto Renekton. He might actually go down from this. But he's very they, tanky. Up kills. He is very tanky, and they're actually picking up kills still. Again, again I think Nessus uh, should use his ultimate earlier because now they're disengaging. Like, he uses it when they disengage instead of engaging with it. Oh. Good stand aside used by Draven. Uh, Astral still flashes in, trying to pick up some kills. They secure another tower, so they're really getting ahead now. They're probably gonna uh, go down and take uh, either the outer mid turret or the inhibitor turret at the top lane. They should be able to pick it up, since they still have Baron now. They're, they're really far ahead, they have more than 10k Yeah, and ahead. they're gonna take the inhibitor as well, probably. Yeah, they will. Yeah. <laughs> so it's actually going really well here, but the disengage combo is, is showing that it's really smart to pick up. Let's see how long is the Baron. But at least died. So it's, it's a quarter left on the Baron buff. Yeah, they but aren't they... gonna get anything more out of the Baron buff, but they made good use of it. They took down the inhibitor in the top they lane. They made really good use of it. And they, they stole away the blue kills. buff, and they got a lot of kills. So they are really snowballing this game. I. I... I feel like Astro is really, really putting effort into this game. He's 8 and 1 and 6. That's huge amount of damage. Draven, not gonna do go down, but very close there. Just uh, one combo from. There's uh, an Astro coming. There's an Astro. It's gonna miss. This was really close though. <laughs> yeah. Draven stayed out of that. So. Yeah, that's actually something you can think of. You can't walk through turrets or inhibitors, so you just try to aim to the sides. If you, if anyone is in that position, to side. We're gonna yeah, take away the red here. buff again. So Team Lone are really starving the map for Team LeBlanc. Yeah, that's 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 what you get when you get really early tower. Because you know, both carries of Team LeBlanc is actually top lane. Now Gragas is moving down to the bottom lane to the front turret. But Draven is still in the top lane, pushing it out. I don't think so they'll be able to defend this turret. No, they definitely cannot. They got a quite good wave there though. They might actually be able to. The uh, Yeah. They're gonna go the for Nasus. the brush bait. Yeah, he's actually gonna do the brush bit. I don't... Blue team knows that dragon is up. Yeah. But they do not know. Team Lona just gonna go for a dragon instead. Um, there shouldn't be anything they... they can do about it. No, it shouldn't. Oh, it's a rose war. Aww. Oh, they actually might still engage her. That's true. No, it's a Sega with a lot of AoE damage. This engage doesn't really work out this time. Zed is huge though, so he's gonna take down Wukong. Ness is getting taken down as well. It's, act it's actually uh, worked the disengage comp. 
it holds them off long enough for Ezreal to do the damage needed to do onto Nasus, so... Yeah, Nasus actually withers Sad in that engage. Which I... it, it feels like Sad is still a, a huge threat, but he's not that big of a threat. No, and he isn't, he still, he isn't he still that auto attack of... reliant, so... If he ults someone, it doesn't really matter about the wither. No. And the fact that they have a Janus shield on Ezreal, he's really hard to kill. Yeah, so and uh, that's only the Nexus turret and uh, the inhibitor turret down in bot lane left for Team Leona to take down. So, this is all but over. Yeah, it probably is. Team Leona is really far ahead. Almost up to 15,000 gold. That's, that's a huge amount of gold. I wish see Barry's gonna spawn in 5 seconds, so they might actually want to try this. Nessus is up to 500 stacks on his Q though. Uh, but as we saw the last team fight, he can't really get onto the carries in the back line. Uh, or oh well, the carry Ezreal. Uh, so it doesn't really matter how much damage he does, since he won't be able to use it on someone. No, yeah, you're right. I, I'm, I'm putting a lot of effort into like, praising the Janet shield. It, it blocks 300 damage at rank 5 and with the, uh, the ability power she has. So, as you said, the team is starting to burn. To They're gonna get it for free. Uh, blue team won't make it there in time. They, they have zero words. And they had no timer. They, did, they didn't even know that purple team got Baron last time. Something they we have to uh, give uh, Team Lona credits for is definitely the ward control, both from pink wards and uh, Janna's uh, uh, red trinket. I'm actually surprised no, um, uh, not any more of the players have picked up red trinkets. Well, that's actually true. And as you see, the, the top side of the jungle, of the Team LeBlanc jungle, is, is crowded with uh, wards. So that's actually something you will want to clear out if you want to trade trade fights there. Elise so might Elise actually go down. Very low, but repels out. Wukong actually flashing for it, but he doesn't have the damage as we spoke about earlier. But we see, like, Ness is going on to Seth, but Seth is getting away from it. Uh, Renekton going huge, getting a double kill. I this will be game. game for sure. And that's an ace. Uh, Nasus is really tanky, but not tanky enough. No. Like, Renekton and Nasus is uh, each other's counterparts, really. Both wants to dive the backline, but Renekton was so far ahead, he did so much more damage to the, uh, the Team LeBlanc backline than Nasus did to Team Leona's backline. So, a really decisive win, to be honest. I think we have to give the MVP to Ezreal though. He went 10-1 and 11. Uh, really good performance by him. He was backed up by Janna, who's also 1-1 and 20, which is also very good. Yeah, actually I think Janna really helped out that team fight. Her disengages were really spot on. So she did a really good game. So the MVP, my MVP goes to their bot lane, definitely.